So they say the famous last words of a redneck are, hey, watch this. Welcome, YouTubers of YouTubeville. It's Monday morning. It's my day off. I'm off for three days in a row. Got to get cranking on some videos. Time to get started. It's nice and cold outside today. I don't know if you can see my breath. Had my morning juice. It's got me all wired up. Now I'm going to take my scraps down to the chickens, turn the goats out, and get started on my day. Good morning, Duke. Are you hungry? Oh, what? what? <laughs> hmm? You hungry this morning? Some chickens hungry? Here's you some scraps. So they say the famous last words of a redneck are, hey, watch this. Well, hey, watch this. Come on, goat. Woo, come on, goat. Better not knock my camera over. Let's go, let's go. It's a goat stampede. So I turn my goats out a lot. They're not pinned up here at all. They're just out free to roam. They're in my yard. You know, look, here's the yard. There's the house. So I just turn my goats out and let them graze. And I'll show you why I do it. This is crazy. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this. We had an unbelievable acorn crop acorn acorn whatever you want to call them this year I mean look at that thousands and thousands and these goats just come out and they get under these oak trees and they eat and they eat and they eat Propane company's here topping off my tank today. Getting a little propane. I'm using way more propane than I expected this winter. Come to find out, we got a leak. Putting a new flex line on our heater in our bathroom because it's just a little small leak allowing it to bleed out a little bit. It's expensive. So yeah, we had a leak in our propane line. You know, I called them and said, hey, we're about out of propane. Our tank was getting low. I said, go ahead and make a delivery, but let's test our system when you come. Cause I think I got a leak. And they said, well, if your tank's low, you're just gonna get that odor because the, the chemical that they add into propane to give it that smell gets really strong. So sometimes that odor will come through even when you're burning your fire. I said, yeah, I think I might have a little leak though. Well, guess what? Look at this, this flex line. It's only about, oh, a year old. We just put this propane heater in last winter in our bathroom. Well, this flex line has gone bad already and it was leaking pro it was leaking propane into our bathroom. But it's just a very small leak just where you just get a slight odor of that propane. But we got it fixed and they didn't charge us for the new part because I bought this one from them a year ago. But anyway, super great company. Anyway, they, they fixed us up, got more propane and my wife can take a nice shower in her warm bathroom now and she won't be so cold anymore. Guys, it's the last day of January and it's probably 75 degrees in my hot tunnel right now. I don't have my raised beds filled yet because unfortunately my tractor's still not running but we're working on that, gotta get the parts. So, don't have the raised beds filled? But I've got to get some plants started. I mean, it's like, it's almost garden season. Got to get a jump to get in this high tunnel to get some of these cool season crops up and going. So we got, you know, we got to get them started so we can get them in the ground when I get these raised beds filled. So guess what day it is? Today's the day to start some seeds. Let me show you what I'm going to start. So yeah, I'm out here in the high tunnel. Got a few seeds. I'm going to try to plant a few seeds. Got, my, got everything ready to go. 
I know it's way early in the year guys I mean it's not it's not even February yet but here's the thing I'm planting in leftover topsoil that I have from last year I'm planting seeds that are left over from last year and I've already got the trays it's not costing me anything this will be my first you know time first time um, planting in this high tunnel this time of year so it's gonna be I know it's early but I've got a plan that I can get an extra layer of plastic over these seedlings and over these trays so if we drop down in the 20s shouldn't be too big of a problem I'll have uh, two layers of plastic protecting everything so yeah and so here's what I'm planting um, well, I've got some collard greens some Detroit red um, beets some bok choy because that's just awesome in the juicer it's great stuff uh, spinach and my favorite watermelon radishes so these are all just leftover seeds from last year so if I don't get a hundred percent germination who oh well, what am I out you know leftover seeds leftover soil so it's time to get my soil blocker out and get to work uh, yeah I said soil blocker if you've never used one of these they are awesome cats meow ten times better than the little plastic cups and the peat pots and all that junk this little thing takes your own topsoil your own you know potting mix whatever you use turns it into a perfect little soil block let me show you how it works you know isn't it nice to get your hands in the dirt I mean it's almost garden season it's almost here and this is just a good feeling you know you like it if you're a gardener okay so I've got my, my soil nice and wet I got my tray ready and here's my soil blocker so this soil blocker makes four soil blocks and each one of them have a little rubber piece in there that makes a little divot in the top of that soil block so it gives you a place to plant your seed here's how it works ready for the magic Oop. there you go perfect little soil block with a little hole right in the top for your seed So I've got my seed trays ready. I don't know if you can see me because it's so bright out here, but I've got my seed trays ready. And what I'm gonna do, and this is just a temporary basis, because like I said, I don't have these beds filled yet. So I'm gonna lay these trays with my seeds in them in the bottom of these raised beds, okay? Until I can get them filled, it's gonna work for now. But I'm gonna lay these in that raised bed, and then I can take a piece of leftover greenhouse plastic from when I built my high tunnel, and lay over the top of that and I can cover those things under a second layer of plastic two layers of plastic should give me um, each layer of plastic they say is five to eight degrees of frost protection so I'm looking at close to 10 to 12 maybe even more degrees below freezing that I can get frost protection and I'm planting cool season crops spinach beets um, radishes kale things like that so they'll be fine in the cold but it should be nice and toasty under that second layer of plastic Like I said, I'm not doing anything too fancy. I'll get that plastic stretched over that bed and weigh it down a little bit to keep it up. Uh, I'm going to have to keep it uncovered in the day because it's probably 80 degrees in here right now. And like I said, that's old seed from last year. I'm going to use, more than likely, going to use a different seed company this year that I've never used before. And it's probably one that most of you are familiar with. And the guy has a YouTube channel also. It's MI Gardener. Um, Everything I've read on his stuff, everything seems awesome. His seeds are great. He's got a really cool YouTube channel. He used to post a lot more videos than he does now. But small company, small business, family-ran business. 
um, but his seeds are 99 cents guys he's got excellent quality seeds excellent quality everything and I actually uh, have a friend that's kind of talked me into it through her video she doesn't realize it probably but she's talked me into this so I don't know if you guys know Tangy over at the Caver's Wife um, go check her channel out it's Tangy the Caver's Wife Tangy's awesome she's like my YouTube sister we're really good friends awesome person Anyway, she's got a affiliate program with MI Gardener. So if you buy anything on MI Gardener's uh, website, you use the uh, coupon code TCW10. So TCW as in the caver's wife 10 for 10%. So the seeds are 99 cents a pack. 99 cents. And then you're going to get 10 cents or, well, 10% off of that. So it's a good deal. It's worth checking out. Really great prices for some really good seeds. You might check them out i don't know i've never bought anything from them before so this will be my first year like i said so i'm excited to try it out always love supporting a good company well as is the life of a youtuber mid video card full it's time to whip out the iphone and finish what i was saying go check out in my gardener go check him out on his website and on youtube check out tangy over at the caver's wife awesome lady awesome channel awesome family they're great um anyways camera's dead well, it's not dead. It's cards full, so I got too much on there. So that's all I've got for today. Um, you know, just kind of is what it is. What's going on around here? Got the garden covered up. I got a whole video coming out on that. You may have already seen that by now. Got some seed started in the seed trays in the high tunnel because garden season is upon us. It is coming up soon. Still could get some really cold temperatures in February here in Oklahoma, but hey, that's why I have a high tunnel season extension early planting of crops so i'm gonna try it out there is the rest of the day is gonna be busy gotta go pick up the kids from school go drop off some stuff at a consignment store for my wife and then weston's got a ball game tonight katie's got a ball game tonight lots of busy stuff lots of stuff going on good day beautiful weather got a lot accomplished today so anywho guys thanks for watching i do appreciate it hey if you're not subscribed to our channel i'd sure love you sure love to have you subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, Arms Family Homestead. Guys, y'all have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.